All right, second edition of Dine Out Lauderdale. This time we're gonna go to Dana Beach Rodizio Grill. Let's see what that's about. A little bit more about the restaurant that we're gonna go check out. Um, we've actually never been there. We have been to the concept of a Brazilian steakhouse. Basically, it's a all you care to enjoy um, array of different meats and stuff. So if you are a vegetarian, this is not for you. Um, but it is located at the new Dania, somewhat new Dania Point development where there's a bunch of hotels, restaurants, and shops. What do you think? Yeah, I've been looking forward to it. You know, I love Brazilian food, especially Brazilian steakhouses, so looking forward to it. That's why we chose this place. Yeah, for sure. Sent you the list of the participating locations and uh, he's like, all you can eat steakhouse? Sign me up, so. I'll try to add the link in the description of the video. I think people do that. So you can see all of the participating restaurants that they have for Dine Out Lauderdale. Um, it's only during the month of August. So August 1st through the 31st. Um, we will, I guess, try out as many as we can, but probably realistically only maybe four. Or we just go like once a week, maybe. Yeah, once a week. All right, well, stay tuned for more. Stay tuned. The back roads of Dania Point on Old Griffin Road. Fun fact, it is not a secret. There are a ton of cars here. Apparently everyone knows about this little back road here. Either that or I guess the GPS is telling us to go there, just like everyone else. Yep. All right, we are pulling into Dania Point. Ready to see it? watch there are some already that are either like yeah they're pretty close to being done i guess um there is the hotel on the right over here i want to say this is the ac marriott marriott which I believe stands for um autograph collection marriott um i think these are actually open already so now we're coming up to more of the entertainment district side of it We'll see some of the restaurants, some of the stores, some of the parking. And if I'm not mistaken, I wanna say parking is complimentary, but there is a time restriction on it. Here is the Tommy Bahama Marlin Bar attached to the Tommy Bahama store. Actually, I think Tommy Bahama Marlin Bar is also participating in Dine Out Lauderdale, but I've been to the one on Las Olas and I'm not really interested in going again. There's a bowling alleyway back there. Um, great place for dessert at Hawken Dawes over here. And yeah, as you can see, it's just a bunch of little stores and restaurants and ice cream shops and running store stuff and little outdoor living spaces where people can basically just hang out and be with their family, be with their friends. Oh, here's the Rodicio Grill. We will be pulling up there shortly. We have a reservation for, I think it's like eight o'clock. So we are definitely early for a reservation, but that's fine. In fact, Pete Davidson is performing there today. We will not be catching his show though. It's at 10 o'clock and it is a weeknight. It is a school night. I am not trying to stay out that late. So like I was saying, we are early for our reservation, but that's fine because it gives us plenty of time to look for parking and maybe explore what there is to see here. Um, oh, there's a Nike clearance store. Maybe we could check out some Nike shoes. I would like to give a little bonus clip here. Um, remember I mentioned that Pete Davidson is performing at the Improv tonight. Um, there's two shows. There was a 7.30 and a 10 o'clock show. So when I found on Instagram that he was performing, um, the 10 o'clock show was still available. And I let my hubby know, hey, you know, he's performing, not really interested in going, but you know, there's a 10 o'clock show. I think that's a little too late. Let's not, you know, let's not bother going. And he's like, okay, sure, no problem. We pull up, we park, I turn off the vlog and he says, hey, I just looked it up. You're, you're true, yeah, 10 o'clock is sold out as well. Sold out, yep. I mean, I wasn't gonna go anyway, but I think it's funny that he's like, "Hey, you know, just in case, what would you, what would you have done if it wasn't sold out?" I don't know. Maybe potentially go. You know? Yeah, no. Yeah. It is a Wednesday night. It is. No yeah. thanks. <laughs> Bye. All right, we actually found a parking spot that was pretty quick. It took us maybe all but 
one minute to find a parking spot. Um, we are definitely early for our reservation. We are a little hungry, so we'll see if they can take us a little early. But in the meantime, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna jump into the Nike clearance store because I do need some new shoes for Disney. I'm um, not sure if I'm gonna vlog that content because I'm not sure what the point is on that. But hey, I'll do what the vloggers say. Comment down below if you wanna see that type of, uh, you know, content and maybe I'll think about doing a shopping vlog next time. All right. All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna vlog, but these deals are pretty good. It's pretty empty in here too. Lovely view of 95. Nice sign right there of doing a plan. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? Who's this your girl? Oh. So as you can see here, this is a view of us walking into the restaurant. Um, it was fairly empty, uh, so they were able to take us pretty early. Here's some merchandise. There's also a photo booth where we could take some photos. They were free and they let us scan the QR code. Here are some of the photos we took that were then basically emailed to us via the QR code. Well, after we took some of these photos, <clears throat> uh, we walked over to our table, which was close to the serving items. And um, here's kind of like where it got a little weird because our server was not aware of the Dine Out Lauderdale promotion, which a little bit more on that later, but basically this is when we first got here. We looked at the menu, checked out what there was, and then walked over to the serving items, checked it all out. Here we see, um, I think there was like a chicken and there's pasta and mashed potatoes, fried plantain, some yuca. Here's the salad bar. This was the chimichurri I served myself. They had rice. Um, here's the meat. There's that block. Oh, we ordered some sangria, which was interesting. Um, this was a cheese that they had offered with some honey drizzled on top. Here's another quick view of the salad bar station. And another view, I guess, walking into the overall station with the hot items on the right. And the salad and cheese is on the left. As you can see, it was an overall slow night. There wasn't that many tables, but it is a nice dining room. Um, co you know, pretty cozy, nice decor. Um, as you can see, they had some writing on the wall. What are you wall. doing? Here's no, Carlos no, no. getting himself no, no. more of that powder for show. I'm, I'm um, he really like that, that, even though the other stuff it's was kind of subpar that, right? for him. <laughs> Alright, so now that you've finished and tried it all, what are your thoughts? Comments, ideas? Uh, the meats are okay. The salad bar uh, could definitely be better. The salad bar and Texas Brazil, the presentation is definitely better. Also, the meat are more flavorful, more seasoned. They ask you Texas Brazil, how you want your meats, you know what. Um, okay, well, we could recap that after. Yeah. I was just wondering what you thought about the food. Give me from 1 to 10. I like got like 5, 5.5. 5. For the food? Yeah. For all of it? Mm -hmm. Tea meats, salad yeah, the bar? The family was probably my, my favorite. Okay. So the Dine Out Lauderdale menu includes desserts and here is a overview of the desserts. We wound up picking the cheesecake and actually took it to go. Then we headed out. Obviously it is way too hot for anyone to be sitting outside. Okay, so review coming soon. So remember that great parking spot we got? Look at the hidden sign right there. It is so hidden, like even with the trees and stuff. You can barely see it. But basically it says EV parking, violators will be towed. It's like hidden behind trees. So yeah, we totally didn't see it. Thankfully we did not get towed. But yeah, check your signage before you park. All right, stay tuned for the review. Ooh, my hair's flowing because of the AC. <laughs> It was our second place that we checked out with Dine Out Lauderdale. So I guess one of the things that 
made it an interesting experience is that the restaurant itself did not know that they were participating in Dine Out Lauderdale. So that kind of made it a little interesting. Um, I will say though that they did call over a manager and even though they were not aware of the promotion, um, he did uh, honor it for us. I pulled it up on the website and I was just kind of like, yeah, this is it. It started August 31st. I'm sorry. It started August 1st, goes to the 31st. Um, so he's like, you know what? No problem. I will definitely honor what is on the website um, for Visit Lauderdale and basically give you guys the price of um, Dine Out Lauderdale and include everything that is, you know, listed on the menu in Dine Out Lauderdale. So it is definitely a different format. We've been to quite a few different Brazilian steakhouses. Um, we've been to Texas de Brazil, Fogo de Chao, Chima. Um, and I think the first one we went to is Texas de Brazil, right? It was, yeah. And the way it works at Texas de Brazil is basically you sit down, they bring you like three different sides, which is like these like cinnamon glazed plantains. Um, is it the potatoes? The potatoes will give you... The cheese bread. Cheese bread, yeah. Um, and then, of course, you order your drinks, whatever. Oh, and then the other thing is, Texas de Brazil, is they give you, like, a kind of, like, a plastic disc that's, like, green and red. And green is basically, go, I'm good, I want food, I want, I want meat, give me everything you got. Um, red is, like, stop, I don't want it anymore. So basically here they don't have like a plastic like personalized disc or like per person. It's just this like wooden peg that they kind of give you. So if he was good to have like steaks and stuff be served and I wasn't, I was still getting asked like, hey, do you want this? Because it was just one like wooden peg that basically alerted everyone like or, you know, alerted the I don't even know what they're called, the carvers, to come around and basically give us food. The system that they have for you to be like, yes, give me steaks and chicken. And that's the thing, they don't only have steaks, right? It was chicken and mm. pork and lamb and right. um, even like pineapple. pineapple. Yeah, yeah. Um, they did have this like grilled cheese that was really good and they put like honey over it. That was actually really good. Did you, you didn't try that, right? No, I didn't, no. Yeah, so. Um, Basically, it's not just steak, it's a bazillion other stuff. Um, but like I was saying, you know, in Texas to Brazil, the way it was is like, they bring you the sides, they bring you the cheese bread, and then you go to the salad bar and you get what you want. And the same thing with, um, the, they did have some sides in Texas to Brazil too, right? They have the rice, they have the potatoes au gratin, um, they have the lobster bisque, which by the way, I don't know if you saw, they did have soup here, but it wasn't lobster bisque. I think it was like a chicken noodle soup mm. or something. So that's another difference then. Yeah. That's another difference, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and so anyway, enough about Texas to Brazil. So the way Rodizio was, it was literally, they don't bring you anything to, the, to, the, to your plate, to your table. Um, they give you this wooden peg and basically there's two plates there. They basically say, whenever you're ready, just flip this peg to green and we'll bring you the meats and you know, you tell us when to stop. So I was like, okay, well, what about the cheese bread and the sides and all that other stuff? And they're like, everything's at the salad bar. So the salad bar definitely had a lot more options than Texas to Brazil. There was polenta, there was yuca fries, there was French fries, there was the fried plantains that is also at Texas to Brazil and some of these other Brazilian steakhouses. Um, there was um, not just French fries. There was three things I remember. It was the yuca fries, the French fries. There was something else that I can't remember what it was right now. Um, but then they also had like pasta, they had like a chicken alfredo, they had some chicken stroganoff. Yeah, some different items. Yeah, they so. definitely had different items. Um, so I feel like that's kind of a plus. Um, the salad bar, they did have a lot of different salads as well. They had a potato salad, um, they had a tomato mozzarella salad, they had just tomatoes, they had just onions. Um, I guess they had like, kind of like a roommate. You had you had more salad than I did. I really I only had the tomato mozzarella. Yeah, I had the Caesar salad. That was pretty, pretty decent. They had like shredded, uh, you know, Caesar cheese, like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, the fridge, Parmesan or whatever that cheese, is. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, they had a ton of carbs too, like a ton of bread. Even when they were passing around stuff, like in Texas and Brazil, they just pass around um, steaks and chicken and pork and you know different types of cuts. Okay, so had some technical difficulties with my phone, so I'm gonna have to end it here. But 
basically all in all we enjoyed dinner um would we go back i guess is the main question and i'm not sure that i would i do think that texas or brazil has a little bit better quality in meats and better quality in food um outside of that you know there's not really much more to say but we're excited to keep checking out the rest of dine out lauderdale restaurants participating restaurants and hopefully this was a fluke and um hopefully the rest of them will be better it was a little strange that the restaurants didn't know about the promotion but on the plus side um they did honor it so that was good and i mean if I were to rate the food on a 1 to 10, I'd probably give it a 6. However, the manager was really nice um, by honoring it. And he did come over a lot and checked on us and was really friendly. So I feel like just that alone, the service um, bumps it up to um, maybe like an 8 for me. All right. Well, that's it for now. Bye. Want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that is the line for Pete Davidson. It just keeps going and going and are we at the end yet? Are we at the end yet? And the end. <laughs>